Scotty at Dust and Depp. Today we're going to show you the, uh, the Misfit Shine app. So you're going to go to the App Store, you're going to search for uh, Misfit Shine, and you'll see this app right here that I've currently got my finger on. Um, once you download that app, there's two apps there. One of them's called Misfitopia. Don't download that one. That one's uh, like a, the app that they use to connect to each other, I'm guessing. I don't know. But it's not for the Misfit Shine. So click uh, on Misfit here. We'll go ahead and launch it. <clears throat> when you first launch it, it'll say like, It'll take you through everything of setting up a, a shine, which is pretty easy. You just type in, you know, your height, weight, uh, male or female, and then you'll also put in their date of birth. You'll uh, then link the shine to it, which is pretty easy. You just set it on there. There's another setup video you can watch um, that I've got on here. So uh, once you've got it all set up, this is the view that you're going to see every day. Right here where it says points, this is their own little like point scale thing they do, kind of like Nike Fuel Band does a, does a points. So uh, if you tap on the points, though, it'll actually show you your steps, your calories, and how far you've traveled. And if you leave it there, next time you launch it, it'll be back on there instead of the points. So you can go back through all the days that you've had on here. Obviously, yesterday you can see I was more active. I actually wasn't. I just actually wore it almost all day yesterday. Um, I only got it a couple days ago, as you can tell. I haven't really been wearing it too much. It's got a couple other features in the app. If you pull up here, you can take pictures uh, of your meals. Now, it doesn't actually do anything. That's just so you have a food diary of what you've eaten. Um, but they say there's more, you know, more stuff to come. They do constantly update the app. It can be a little buggy at times, but, uh, I mean, it's definitely a clean-looking app. And once I think once you get used to it, it works pretty well, to be honest with you. <clears throat> right here is where you'll go to, to do your uh, sleep. I haven't actually tracked any sleep yet because you need the wristband, and I don't have a wristband. All I've got is a clip right now. I do have the leather watch strap coming from Misfit and uh, a couple other things, so when we get them in, we'll show you those as well. If you go here to the weight section, this is where you're going to put in your goal weight and your actual weight, so uh, then you can track where you've been and what you've done. Now, unlike Fitbit, they don't have a scale you can purchase yet. Who knows they might in the future? Um, but right now you've just got to type in your weight every day. And then if you go here, you can go to your friends and you can see what the average is. So like if you go to this Mr. Fit, Mr. Fit is what today's average is of a male on uh, using a shine, the record, this week's record. So that's always in there so you can see how you're stacking up against everyone else. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go back over here. You can change your goals. So you can change your goals to um, walking, running, swimming, like whatever you want to do to hit your goal. You can change your points, what you want for your for your points. Right now, I just have it set for a thousand, which equals about ten thousand steps. So that's cool. I'll just hit save here. Um, what else do we have in here? We have the My Shine, where this is where you can uh, change if you want it on automatic sync or not. I do. So every time I open the app, it automatically syncs. That's just the way I like it. You can put it here and put where you're wearing it. I currently wear it on my waist. Um, but there's loads of different places you can wear them, and it says you can wear it anywhere else as well. Just tell them about it, and they'll try to, uh, you know, figure out where other people wear them to try to make better, better algorithms so they can uh, track, more accurately track your fitness. Um, so we'll save that. You can turn on and off the clock function, which is pretty neat. Um, I've actually figured out how to read it, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, distance, you can do height, weight, uh, or, um, height, weight in pounds and kilos, miles and kilometers so there's uh, you know everything you want here from a from a fitness tracker um, obviously they are they are constantly doing updates another way to to manually sync your shine is to just pull it over this way and it'll it'll automatically sync and then one other way to do it is if it you hit that button tap to sync you can set your shine on there but you don't have to you can just tap it with your thumb works the same so now it's automatically resyncing um, so if you guys have any questions or comments or anything about the Shine, the Misfit Shine or the Misfit Shine app, please uh, put them in the box below and, and let us know, you know. Cool. If you guys have any, anything else, let us know as well. Thanks a lot. At Dustin Depp.